NCRP Productions presents Sunday in the Shadows, a Shadowrun actual play podcast, episode 10. Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday in the Shadows. My name is David, I'll be your Game Master. We are playing today Shadowrun 6th edition and uh, today we are have the pleasure of being joined by a new player, Josh. We're going to go around and introduce our players and characters, starting with the new guy, Josh. Tell us about your character. Hi, I'm Josh. I will be playing Nomad, the Elven uh, Covert Ops Specialist. You want to tell us anything more? Or are you good with that? Uh, At least to start. We, we'll learn in game. Yeah. International <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Learning game. Right, good. I like we'll it. learn in game. I like it. I like it. All right, cool. This is Barry. I am playing MF. I am the Dwarven Adept. Hey, everybody. It's Pedro. I am playing Hot Hands, the Mage. Hi, it's Sequoia, and I'm playing Jelly, the Face. Hello, it is Aaron, who is also playing CC, the Whippings Specialist. Still playing the Whipping Specialist, right? Whippings. Love the, specialist. <laughs> the Whippings will <laughs> stop when morale improves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, when last we left off, the group had traveled from Red Bluff, outside of Red Bluff, to the Sacramento area, Folsom area to be exact, to pick up Hot Hands and MF, who had apparently gone through some type of astral rift and reappeared in a hotel, an abandoned hotel or evacuated hotel in the Folsom area. Yeah, we actually, we all traveled there. We just went there different yeah, ways. Yeah, you, you took different yeah, yeah, mediums of transportation. Uh, while in the hotel, MF and Hot Hands encountered a ghoul in one of the dining areas. And LT and CC are, have now um, under suspicion that there's something else dwelling inside of the restaurant area. And uh, everyone's kind of convened at the, the truck, uh, which is outside in the front, uh, outside the front lobby area, and that's where we begin today. So, Jilly, I'm not sure if you heard, but uh, I was hearing some pretty fucked up shit, like some chittering teeth, and my very keen ears picked up that it was at least more than three. What I'm hearing is dollar signs. That's probably a pretty good place to start. When we're so all it's time to go hunt, is that what you're saying? Well, so, yeah, so something to, to look at is time-wise. If I've understood where we've been at through all of this, it's evening again, right? Because we drove all night, we ended up dealing oh, with the... Right. We were going to take a rest. Right, we ended up dealing with cockatrices. Mm -hmm. That, uh, was, that was in the early yeah, morning? Or that was, that was still, late at night. That was, that was late at that night. Was mm -hmm. yeah. And so we arrived at the farmhouse. I thought for some reason we arrived at the farmhouse when it was light. It's, yeah, it was light at the farmhouse, so it's now going to be like late afternoon. You know, it's probably getting dark in the next couple hours. Okay, so you, you look at it as late afternoon, yeah. but... For me, for MF, I'm in the bunk. I'm Yeah, you out. two are sleeping. Jelly's yeah. keeping an eye on stuff. And he'll like, yeah. So if, if you and LT return to the truck, we'll take the night and then go from there in the morning. I mean, I am fine with staying up a little bit and waiting until our magic squishy people rest up a little bit. <laughs> and then I can I'm not get that my... damn squishy. <laughs> I mean, this wouldn't be the first time that we tackle the job in the middle of the night. So, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll feel it out when they're a little more recouped. I, I will not lie, Jelly. I'm uh, just a little bit. It's no big deal. I'm a little bit hurt, but... Maybe some sleeping would be good. Who the for hell me. runs shadow runs in the night? All <laughs> shadow runs go in the day. We've learned that from years of gaming. <laughs> we work in the shadows. <laughs> so the other day thing, runners, the other thing, day runner game. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our one of our older games, Dave. We, they, it's, well, I don't remember who, but was, somebody was, brings up. Yeah, it was Greg. That, that it was said, Greg's brought up. Hey, have you guys ever uh, thought about maybe doing this kind of work at nighttime? <laughs> <laughs> Every game was day. The other thing from last week, last week's game was the trailers. We had seen that there were two trailers in mm -hmm. the parking lot yep. off to the side of the hotel. Yeah. Is that, am the I remembering? The next right? parking lot over, the adjacent yeah. parking okay. lot. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And I don't know, I mean, I, I forgot to look uh, and check on this during the week, but universal couplers? I mean, are, are they are they all Microsoft couplers? Are some of them Apple? Movie magic, Barry. We don't got to worry about that. All right. That. For what? Couplers for the trucks? Yeah. yeah. To, uh, hook the trailer to the... They're pretty universal, right? They're pretty universal. The goose... I mean, it's yeah, pretty much... Like the bulb thing. It's, it's okay. kind of a standard, uh, you know, so that, you know, it doesn't matter whether you got like a Peterbilt truck or, you know, a, a freight line or whatever, you know, okay. you can... The, the, the gooseneck is pretty much universal and it pops in, you hook up the brake lines, that kind of stuff's the same. The only thing that's going to differ... Or the features in the truck. And Plus, stuff. we got okay. magical LT who will make it at least stick together. <laughs> LT back there with a hammer, wang wang. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna fit. <laughs> he's, he's got a rocket launcher mounted on the, yeah. the, the fender yeah, of cool. his truck. Everything yeah. is good with a rocket launcher. Oh my so, God. Nomad, because of the blight, right? You've kind of 
managed to get your way into California to try and earn some money and try and get in early on some of the craziness that's going on. You're, you're from the Sacramento area. They did a massive evacuation, and as people were being evacuated, you felt it a good time to maybe get in and see what got left behind. Exactly. Either maybe gather information, if you will, and things like that. And you found yourself uh, kind of holing up in one of the penthouse suites in this hotel because it was secure. It was, you know, high up from the ground, easily defendable. You know, all right, you, you've been here a couple of days. You know that there's, there's something else in the hotel with you, uh, but you haven't really seen it. As you've been resting, at, at some point, you're going to, just from your kind of natural alert level, you hear several gunshots go off. <laughs> and when you look out the window from your from your suite, you look down, you see that there's a large vehicle in the, in the lobby pull-up you know, where people might check in. And you've seen a few people walking around. You, you've seen a dwarf walking around down there. You saw a um, really hot chick with blue hair. You see a hot chick with blue hair. <laughs> how, um, how many floors up am I? Uh, you're 12 floors up. Okay. You're on the 12th floor. I'll, I'll uh, activate my vision enhancement and my cyber eye and take a closer look. And I feel like you saw a really hot blur. Yeah, so blue yeah, hair. yeah, you definitely, you definitely see uh, there's, uh, there are, there are two dwarves. You've seen two dwarves, an elf, a human, yeah, two humans. I know. But one of the humans has like a cybernetic arm. That's the hot, well, uh, hot human uh, chick with blue hair. Damn straight. The uh, the dwarf has a like a, a kind of a kind of an olive drab bandana on and wears like military fatigues. You've got what is MF? How does MF dress? MF is dressed pretty basic. Jeans, like T-shirt. That's the least jumpsuit. my memory. Yeah, no, no, no. no. He's Russian. Like, I want to make sure that I didn't write anything different, but that was it. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty he's wearing straightforward. Wearing a and a tracksuit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> tracksuit. Yeah. 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 Gold chains. Yeah, man. All right. Okay, so you see him, and then how does how does Hot Hands like typically dress? So you sound Hot like Hand... this is a joke. I do not get joke. <laughs> so starting from from top to bottom. Uh, so Hot Hands has a yeah. like a straw it. farmer's hat. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, he has pretty rugged. Think like think like good old boy look and build like not muscular, some but tan like, neck and head, yeah. tanned arms from the middle. Yeah, definitely some down. farmers tans for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of like that thing. <laughs> um, what it's all about. So oh, yeah. yeah, so you see that um, he is wearing what looks like a Carhartt jacket. You wouldn't know this, but it's an armored Carhartt jacket. Um, standard farmwear. Standard farmwear. <laughs> For all your farming <laughs> shadow runner needs, Carhartt. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and then, you know, blue jeans. Is By the way. Blue jeans or blue jean coverall? No, just blue jeans. I have, I have big plaid. old belt. I have like a, a plaid button up underneath. You guys haven't seen yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Save big, that for big, later. Big, big belt. We'll get to Vegas. <laughs> right. The belt has club. like a like a hermetic mage seal looking belt buckle. Because why but not? But it's big and Texan, like like. Or, well, no, or, it's or, not WWF huge. Belt or... No, it's not huge, but it's there. <laughs> I um, love San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tier. Tier tier and gear for life. <laughs> uh, tier for life. Tier yeah. life. <laughs> tier life. Um, and then like farmer steel toed shit kickers. <laughs> Wait, you're in boots? You're yeah. in cowboy boots? Yeah. Well, not cowboy steel boots. Steel toed cowboy no. boots. Like <laughs> steel toed work boots. Like okay. Carolina all right. All right. Boots. I'm not stealthy, Gary. I, just, I, I, just I don't, don't have think, stealth at all. No, but I don't think of <laughs> shit kickers as being the rounded toe shit kickers oh, to me. Or the big, point. okay. Right, I that's why I was asking. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. That would be pretty good, though. That would be kind of cool. Actually, like, you know what? Cowboy you wizard. Cowboy boots? I like that. You have the steel tip, the other ones have the external steel tip. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm changing right. it. I'm changing it. It's the external steel tip <laughs> yeah. cowboy boots. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like genuine yeah. leather. Roadhouse? Is that is that where I saw it last? Could be. Could be. Genuine leather. Yeah. Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard, yeah, <laughs> Sam Shepard. Um, yeah, oh yeah, and a little, I don't think I've really described it, but like a, not a, like a carrier bag, that's where I keep some stuff. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Girl, it's a satchel. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, not a, it's not a man purse, it's a satchel. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me. Okay, and then uh, how would you describe Jelly? Jelly's super tall and very handsome. He has blonde hair that's in like a really strict, like severe comb over. And he's wearing a three piece suit. 
comb over like. Comb over, not slick back. I always imagined him wait, like wait. slick back hair. But I'm thinking the track, comb, the comb over. <laughs> all right, all right. Not a ball dance. I, I mean, I'm not sure what you call it, but like, you know, like kind of like Christian Bale in American Psycho. Like just slick. Oh, just slick oh, okay, back. Okay, okay, yeah, slick back. Steve, 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 There you go. Is it is it long? I mean, holding a ponytail kind of? No, no, no. Okay, no. all right, all right. It literally like, just Very blonde Christian Bale, basically. More, more Leonardo DiCaprio kind of thing, you know. Blonde Christian Bale. He's got hair. Right. Yeah, years. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. He's, he's still got hair. <laughs> okay. So these are the individuals that you see kind of meandering around. <laughs> Go lock the door if you want. You know, we'll totally get it. Just Bullshit group that you're going to want to avoid completely. <laughs> like, make another character because if you see, trouble. yeah, if you see us, you should well, want am, to come with us. Uh, as far as the truck goes, I mean, it's a, you're standing, you know, it's a double sleeper cab. Um, uh, a tractor, but, right. but the thing that it sticks standard. out, the thing that sticks out in your in your mind, you're like, there's a uh, there's a, a cylinder rocket pod that's wow. been mounted to the hood. It looks like something off like a World War, like a Vietnam era helicopter or something. Right. It's got, you can see all the holes, business. and there's like six, there's like five rockets in it. There's like two holes here. It's like okay, they obviously have fired rockets at something or someone, right. right? So. You know they're you know at least you know they're trigger happy to some extent. So how how I'm, I'm assuming I've been here a number of days. In this you've been area. here a couple of days, yeah. How many other vehicles or people have I seen? This is the first vehicle you've seen for almost a week. Okay, so I I feel like this is something you know I'm 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 an opportunistic individual, so I'm thinking this is something I want to get a closer look at here. So I'll uh, unholster my Aries Predator, just check the silencer on that, make sure I got my gel rounds and my normal rounds and. I'll uh, grab my katana off the bed, throw it over my shoulder. Got everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, head out the room in a uh, cautious manner to okay. try to make it out without really being seen and, okay. and, and close some distance to these guys. All right. And like I said, you know there's something else in the hotel with you. You don't know what it is. You've heard some things. Just tried to stay but you've, out you've, of you've, way. You've, you've, Yeah, you've somehow over the last 48 hours, you've not managed to cross paths with whatever it is. But you know there's something in here. Right. So it could be people, could be... My um, a group my, of people. My general approach is to always want to see them first. So if, you, <laughs> if there was anything, hopefully that you. Know, so you're gonna like work your way down to like the lobby yeah, or something. Cautiously. Or, okay. And, all right. And just so. making sure I don't know if any of them are if any of these guys are in the in the hotel or. Okay. At least in my knowledge, I haven't heard anything right. coming from inside yet. So, so you get I'll down on the cautious. ground floor, and at, at some point where you you have to take the stairs because the elevators are not in operation. You take the stairs, you come out on the ground floor, there, you're going to see the, um, uh, outside of the lobby there's a, uh, a heap of, of bodily tissue that looks like it's been shot up. Um, it's got sharp <laughs> claws, it's got a very um, grayish kind of uh, decaying looking flesh color. It's got very sharp teeth, and it looks like it's taken several gunshot wounds, um, and it's black kind of icarus blood is kind of run out onto the floor. Well, wow. okay. You see I that will, from, uh, the, from the side. Clear. Yeah. From, from Go this. ahead and give me a stealth Eat. roll. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be your stealth <laughs> plus your agility in dice. Am I still on perimeter? Am I looking um, out for movement? So whoever's on first watch is going to so make a... Jelly was uh, on first watch. All right. Jelly's on first watch. Was okay. I, wait, was I as well? No, you were. I was watching while everybody slept the first oh, time. Okay, okay. All right. So <laughs> Jelly, go ahead and make a uh, perception roll. This is an opposed role. So, I have a specialization in sneaking for stealth, too. Okay. So right. What does that, what does that so give to you? That's uh, two seven, seven agility, five stealth, and two for the specialization. And the specialization gives you two additional dice. That's, that's wrong. 14 great. dice, yeah. Yeah, great. So. Hot diggity. Okay, well, I got three successes. All right. Four. Got He's got four. All right, cool. But you did very well. So, you see you <laughs> see this. You see the, um, um, the, the you know, the, the DiCaprio-looking... Um, yeah, individual who's nicely dressed. I want to specify this not to catch <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she has I twice said it is blonde Christian Bale. It is bl okay. in American Psycho. Blonde Christian Bale. American From Psycho. American Psycho. Looking at, Get it right. Yeah. <laughs> looking at us, you know, looking at his, at his, his business card, you know. Watermarks of the week. Right? <laughs> 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 a watermark, right? And shell white. That's a great movie. Yeah. Um, so uh, you see this individual now. Where are you keeping watch? Are you a roaming kind of thing? Or are you just I'm like inside the cab looking? Around. That's what I was thinking. Okay. It's like so. So as you make your way out to the lobby, you look out, looking at the truck. You see, there's someone awake in the front who's kind of, kind of just keeping an eye out. Phone, yeah. Like okay. You can see the light from the phone, like you know, from the comm link is like shining on the face, and you can see the light as it's now gotten dark. But there is an individual who's awake and may, maybe on watch. You're not sure. 
sitting in the front playing on a comma probably. Has not appeared to have seen you. Yes, there you go. I'm not doing super good, but like, you know, I'm trying. Okay. I, I like the travel. best part is that you keep me watched from inside. Now, are you inside the truck or literally like up inside the sleeper with the rest of us? No, I'm in the front. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking out the window. I'm awake. Yeah. I'm so, so you, you have like like basic, slightly better than 180 degree yeah. vision. Yeah, whenever Probably. I lose around, I'll look up. I'm like, okay, it's quiet. Yep. So, 180. So, just by CC is sleeping right now. Yes. Okay, so. just making sure. Do I get to heal any hitboxes or anything? Yeah, so everyone gets to make a healing check. Okay. Which is what? Body plus body? Yeah, body healing plus is body. Body plus body. Each uh, success gives you a reduction in one of the stress or one of the boxes of physical damage. Anybody near barrier I we can run biotech and we just by saying, Oh yeah, we'll help you out, you can add two dice Will to it. Will you that. help me? Yes. But you have to drink my tea. You have to sleep for this to happen. No, nope, nobody's oh. drinking yet. <laughs> you killed Pharaoh. We wouldn't be here if it was for you. Right. Nobody has drank the tea. Oh my God! Does the tea help. begin to get you crying? Because of girl. Yes, I will help you. <laughs> I still emotionally brought. Like, wait, bro, can I have help? So you roll two dice. <laughs> It, well, so is it's, it? Oh, it's it's fuck, I should have well, no, no, it's your, her body. Her body's a one. one. <laughs> yeah, I rolled my two and then I rolled two oh, more. Oh, there you go. All right. And then so. stun is two to one, right? Uh, no, 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 there's no. something different. Oh, yeah. mm. how stun do I feel? Different roll. Can I yeah. spend edges? Oh, then I'm fine. Yeah, it's been yeah. a long time. Okay, because I only got so two stun, you get to roll. Okay. That's two. Um, how many boxes of physical damage? Have I have five. It's been like seven hours. So you take yeah. If you did the third one, that would break you down to where you're not actually. Well, you're not suffering the modifiers anyway because you've got the low pain tolerance. High yeah, pain yeah. tolerance. Uh, I have a, uh, what is it called? I have High pain tolerance. No, 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 it's a damage, damage compensator. compensator. Yeah, okay, I yeah. have level so six damage nice. compensator. So. Rather than using the edge. Oh, no, you know what, fuck it, it's fine. I Since got Since we've been it. burning okay. through them almost every game. Well, I was going to use my own edge. I but still, we've been burning through those, too. I haven't burned any of it. <laughs> it's definitely mm. becoming in handy. I think okay. it's been a, a good a little addition to the Y'all table. squishy. Because you guys seem to use most of it and yeah. most, a lot of your own edge. And how. You know? And, and that's what I, I was hoping it would do is, you know, getting you guys used to using that edge because that's the way the game is designed to be played is to use that edge on a, you know, case-by-case -case basis and just be going through it and having it refresh and going through it and having it refresh to where that edge uh, currency becomes pretty valuable. Cool. Okay. Okay. So... That's okay, you see. so at this point I'm starting to conclude maybe these guys might be an easier target than <laughs> I first realized. So at this point I will. Uh, Do not like that. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine somewhere maybe two and a half hours in, Jelly sticks his head out the window, kind of looks around. That's it. That's like the entirety of what's over there. No, no. That's too much. I, I am in the locked cab with the windows up. All right. So then, then every once in a while you see the, the eyes kind of look yeah. at the yeah. window. Yeah. Look yeah. up. <laughs> look up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So Fine. I'm a patient elf, and normally my MO is to sort of run recon before I go <laughs> running head headlong into danger. So I'm, I think I'm going to kind of camp out for a little while and just okay. keep an eye on things, try to figure out. I don't know how many people are actually You know, there's, you've truck. seen five. Okay, you've so I, I saw them people. before they went to yeah. sleep. Yeah. yeah, you've been kind of watching, dress, like, yeah. you've seen them kind of moving okay. in and out of the truck. You've seen five individuals. Does LT sleep? Yeah, he sleeps. Yes, he sleeps. Okay, because if not, I, I just thought about it. He's not going to sit in the truck. He's going to be going around driving himself crazy. Oh, he sleeps. Perimeter watch. He okay. sleeps, yeah. Uh, he's sleeps. Trying to avoid him. He, 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 he catches some he's D-rack He's last track. on the watch list. Yeah. <laughs> So, is there anything of value, at least that I see from the from my I mean, position? There's a, there's a rocket launcher. Yeah, but the hood we're of the talking truck. at least you know an hour. My or suit two is very expensive. To, to yeah, the, the rockets so. that are actually in the launcher are, are quite valuable. Mm -hmm. He's leaning forward. What's kind of half the end? <laughs> <laughs> and the rocket launcher is where? It's, it's, it's literally <laughs> mounted on the oh, front well, fender. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the I would probably see that. Yeah, that might be hard to see. Oh, while you're still you're too preoccupied. You're like, oh shit, hold on, I'm about ready to break a new, a new achievement, new trophy. Yeah. Right. I'm gotta, on the highest level of Candy yeah. Crush. Gotta get a new sticker. Yep. <laughs> and, and what, with like probably five hour shifts, probably? Are you guys gonna sleep for like 20 hours? Oh, <laughs> three hour shifts. <laughs> Fabulous it's, point. It's typical. I mean, hey, you know, you guys have been through a lot in the last couple of days, so, I mean, I, I totally understand if you wanted to sleep for 20 hours. Jelly's not a big sleeper, so he's, I mean, Deal. he's not a <laughs> big watcher either. Okay. All right, so I'm figuring, at this point, I need more info before I'm willing to, to show myself, and so, um, 
So I, I, I guess I'll kind of sit and wait to see what they're up to. I, uh, I have enhanced audio on my ears and, and enhanced magnification on my to, eyes, so I'll kind of find a good safe spot. Do you have any way to tap into our open comm link? Mm, I think so. Okay. I don't, mm, I don't know. What would that be like a, is yeah. there? It's called cracking. Cracking. Yeah, it's a skill. It's a matrix action that you do. Okay. I, and yeah, I, I have. Hack into something. I have electronics hardware specialization. So active matrix right here. Yeah. So, yeah. The hosts, but I would. I assume hosts I would need are, to get are going to offline in the area, left and right. So do I have any avenues for eavesdropping outside of? So actually, we're on a radio frequency. Yeah, they are on a radio I frequency. I mean, everyone's sleeping, but we are on the, the local or the shortwave radio. Uh, if you if you want to try and see if they're, you know, if they've got any like radio, just kind of check check the channels going on. Yeah, it'd be, a, it'd be an electronics roll, uh, right. threshold of three to see if you can pick up, stumble on the frequency that they might use be using on their shortwave radios. Would, would this be considered hardware or probably computer? It's hardware. Is it? Okay, yeah. cool. So you get a bonus for that. Two electronics with a hardware spec, and then logic. Is it logic? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. All right. So that is two. So yeah, Miss, I don't know if I, I should, explained I to do you the fives and sixes or hits on any test. <laughs> so you got two. All right. Yeah. So uh, you're, you're, you know, you're, you know, you're going through different frequencies, but you don't seem to find anything that's active. Okay. So I'll just post up kind of close by where my audio enhancement could can kind of overhear, you know, what what might be going on. Is it a shotgun verbally? microphone? No, no, no it's cyber ear. Okay, cyber, cyber ear. Okay. With with audio enhancement and. Uh, so where do you want to be? Ground floor lobby area or in, uh, up in one of the link. residential uh yeah i want to be close enough that if an opportunity presents itself i might could scavenge something from these guys and get out of there kind of quietly and okay. make some extra cash all right so you think in lobby area yeah okay all right so as you're kind of like you know scoping this out you know you've taken the time to kind of slowly move down into the lobby area you see that they've uh, taking up residents inside the truck. One of them's on watch. How long are the watch shifts? Three hours. Three hours. So basically, you know, the sun goes down in that first three hours, probably in that first, probably in that first hour. Right, you're down in the lobby. You 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 start to you start to hear this hissing sound. You've heard this sound before, um, and shied away from it. This is whatever you know that that is the sound of whatever else is in this hotel with you. Yes. Oh, the loud ass van and, and occupants have woken up this thing that I've avoided all these. Well, it days. sounds like many things. Yeah, right? these things. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So now I'm sort of starting to get annoyed at these guys. <laughs> Looking really like I'm stopping. Putting you on front street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See an elf running out oh, of the hotel. With blowing <laughs> shit up. Right, shooting at things. Yeah. Four or five more mouths to feed. What does this grenade do? <laughs> this I don't know what it's called. Is that a grenade? Who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> what would the ghouls think of a glitter grenade? Well, and speaking of grenades, it's, at some point, at some point, you saw there was a bunch of white smoke that was billowing out the front of the hotel. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I might be panicking. You were a little bit. curious about that, but it didn't. Nothing's on fire. Seemed like anything was on fire. Okay. But there was smoke. And it kind of dissipated after what a while, but there was, for a minute, there was like a thick cloud of smoke. Yeah. All right, so do I have any way to sort of, I, I, I can't, I guess I can't use a hijacked comm link. Do I have any way to communicate with them safely in, in my mind that I could sort of, maybe I could take up a position, a, a, a position of advantage and sort of, I don't know. You can try again on tests. Even if you fail, but it raises the threshold. Yeah. So you can try again, but then your threshold will be five. Meaning you need five successes, five hits with. On, the, on the test. If you're rolling, you know, 10, 12 dice or something, you know, it'd be good. Yeah, okay. Anything's doable. Let's try it again, because I did right. have a, a specialization the there. So, so you're going to, like, re-triangulate and, and try and... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to throw some edge at it this time, though. Okay. So I have an edge of five. Does that mean, does that mean I have five to spend? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. You have five to spend, cyber. and there's also... Uh, so now, uh, with the addition of Josh, we've increased the average. The a there's also five edge tokens that are on the table for anyone in the group to use at any time. But I think Cyber Ears give you a bonus edge for that. Oh, yeah, I think I read that too. And you I, have uh, Cyber Ears. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. You know, like, uh, cut them up with the moon on. Yeah, maybe I should just cut them up. <laughs> Cyberware, yeah. <laughs> you just wait to get cyber upgrades? Cut them out of someone else. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you're a repo. You're a repo. I don't even know what they make cyber ears. You're, you're a repo, man. Oh, yeah. And, and, you know, and you're, 
your That's day what job. I like about Necromunda. They basically say, like, this is a great deal on this eye It's only had four previous owners. I like the uh, the movie was the Repo Man or whatever with Jude Law, you know, and they basically repo like body parts from people. Uh, yeah. How about Repo the Genetic Opera? Have you ever heard of that one? Uh-uh. It's terrible. It's very good. You should sounds watch great. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds great. It's terrible. You should watch. It. I like it's terrible. Great. It's yeah. wonderful. I'm concerned. I'm gonna wake uh, up and see she's like, cut off the ear, cut off the ear. I can handle it. Go. <laughs> Why are you cutting off my ear? <laughs> I'm gonna put this other one on. No, no, no. It's fine. Just shove it in there. I'm sure it'll 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 work. It'll be fine. I'm not <laughs> Either that or she's expert. sitting there looking at the knife. And doing this, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Measuring. <laughs> um, Mind your business. Wait, who, who's who's in the um the cab with us? I'm sleeping. In Everybody's the tra- in the cab. Nelty's yeah. in the front driver's seat. He sleeps in the driver's seat. Do you want magical healing? Fine, maybe. I'm still <laughs> mad at you though. And Decker is Pride still crashed out. The full. <laughs> So his bed. It's, it's, yeah, so oh, yeah, the yeah. mage so, who goes into a magic it's plus one on. He's still kind of. He's still kind of out of it. It was still on perception. Fun. Oh, if it uses cyber uh, ears. Yeah, he okay. uses sound you, you or or same thing for vision. <laughs> Just so you know, you killed my grandma. That makes sense. I want you so, to understand. Okay, uh, so I'm going to roll um, logic Thanks. five and something. Uh, engineering four and. Throw some edge at this. So I, do I just? You'll do the edge afterwards when you okay. make a decision you want to do. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking for five here. Got one, two, three. All right. So, so for two points of edge, you can add one point to a dice. Mm. You can spend four points and make those two fours a five and get your five back. Perfect. Two point nine. All right. So let's do that. And that leaves us with five. Five successes, Dave. Okay. Five successes on. What are we attempting to do here? Uh, we're, yeah, we're trying we to crack back radio. into oh, the you got the five? short wave. Yeah. Two yeah. for each. Okay. So, oh, right. So, on, during your watch, um, uh, Decker is going to wake up. You hear him start to stir. Where am I? All right. I'll Who's that? get up and go look at him. Who's that snoring? It is easy snoring. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just come to him and I'll cross my arms while he kind of like watches. smell like vanilla and cinnamon. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> Jenny smells a wonder. He's like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Where am I? He's like, who are you? Uh, hello. My name is Jelly. You're on my truck. How did I get here? Well, you were carried. He's like looking. Is he like more coherent? He's like, he seems to be a little like more it. coherent. Right? He's like, What's the last thing you remember, Decker? So I'll, uh, he says, let me make a memory test for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He don't remember shit. He doesn't remember anything. <laughs> okay. uh, he's like, um, it's all, uh, it's all darkness. It's all, uh, you. You pinned me up against, you pinned me up against the truck. I remember you. Yeah. It's all, where's the rest of my unit? My team and I found you alone. Where? In a basement of a farmhouse in California. Or Cal States. Cal United States. Cal Free State. Cal, Cal Free States. He says, oh yeah. <laughs> and you can say California, that fits very well. It's all, he says, oh yeah. What were you doing down there? I don't know how I got down there. He said I was, uh, we were on movement, we were on movement orders. And, uh, you know, our, our, our lines got scattered and we were in that place. This was before or was it after Dutchville? How do you know about Dutchville? I know all kinds of stuff. Are you on GS level? What, what? If I was, would I tell you? Yeah, you would. Well, well then go higher because I'm not telling you what I'm on. He kind of feels, he's like kind of patting himself down, like, okay. He like reaches it, like, he's like, where are my, th- where are my shoes? Well, are you planning on going somewhere? What? I need, if, if you're not part of my unit, then I need to get back to my unit or I'll be AWOL. I'm not sure how to say this delicately, so I'll just say it. Your unit's been MIA for a very long time. It seems you- like you might be one of the only ones who came out of that. What do you mean? I, mean, I can say it slower. <laughs> 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 I'm 
jelly. <laughs> so, you got anything to drink? Probably. With that, I have some. Did I, you bring back any I brought liquor? back champagne. Just champagne? <laughs> yep. I am French. What do you expect? Okay. All right, Before I'll God. knock on your bunk and I'll say, Cece, uh, mm-hmm. our guest might like a drink. What guest? What? Who? Come what on, year then. is it? What are you talking about? It's 2081. Oh, shit. Is he awake? Yes, Cece. All right. Do uh, you want some? Do you want some booze? You got any water? Water is boring. It's for peasants. But yes, we do. CC. <laughs> what year do you think it is, Decker? Uh, twenty twenty eighty. You're close. Eighty one. So you've only been gone a year, it sounds like. Oh, uh, let me look here. Because we started, we're on April twenty first now of twenty eighty one. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. I have to update my, my date. Um, Which one of you has been asleep the longest? Uh, well, I'm currently kind of relaxing, drinking my tea, and healing these guys. Uh, so and I guess like... effectively me. <laughs> okay, so... Which isn't you... that long. Sleep is for the week. I only need three hours and I'm good. After you get the water, go take point up front. Who, me? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. It's so bossy tonight, all right. Water, yes. All right, here. Here's some water and LT. No, I got this. Never mind. Don't, don't wake up. I am going to scan the perimeter for any threats. <laughs> you might actually find one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending I'm Terminator right now, by the way. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> That's what you hear over the radio. <laughs> <laughs> No threats detected. Moving on. Right, yeah, you should stay away from us. <laughs> you want to keep going. I'm like, wow, this is a bad career choice. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah, he said 28. So he takes the water if you give him water. And he drinks it quickly, pouring it down his, you know, spilling out the sides. And he's, Don't puke. And he's like, oh, you know, it's dripping off his chin. And he's like, I'm so thirsty. Uh, he's like, how long, how long have we been in, in this where, you know, where am I? We are, as I said, in California, and I don't know how long you've been here. It's like, oh, I'm a long way from home. You got a phone? We are off the Matrix right now. I'm off the Matrix? What are you talking about? Was there another crash? I'm concerned that if I give you too much information, you're going to faint again. So maybe let's take it a little bit at a time. Are you got anything to eat? <laughs> are you going to puke if I give it to you? Pussy. No. Can you eat slow? Sure. Okay, I'll go get him a granola bar. Okay, and he's like, <laughs> he like chows it down to like two bites. Like, yeah. <laughs> Start there. All right. Well, so who are the rest of these people? Who's she? I'll, I'll look over. Would you like some tea? It's my own herbal blend. It's What's not wrong? bad. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> and that explains it all. <laughs> there goes the entire Midwest. Yeah, he seems to be like he tries to like look past you. He's like. It's dark. Where, where in California are we? Uh, Central Cal. I'm a long way from my unit. Yeah. How'd, how'd I end up with you guys? As far as I can parse, you came through a magical wall. <laughs> He's all, I remember the emptiness. It's almost like I can still feel it inside. That's concerning. Um... He kind of like zones out for a second, you know, and then kind of comes back, you know. <laughs> It's like, obviously, like, there's something he's not sharing, right? But, you know, you can tell that he's obviously a little bit distracted with something, but he's trying to get his wits about him. So I'll sit on the bed across from him, assuming there's nobody sleeping in it. And I'm going to ask him, were you in the unending city? Why would you ask me that? Because you came out of a magical wall. I don't remember a magical wall. I remember black water. That lines up. Um, some of my team has also visited this place. Kind of looks around the truck. These guys? Mm-hmm. I'm outside uh, the truck. Just I'm like sorry. Oh, you, I you got them, like, got out of the yeah. truck? Oh. Yeah, she I told didn't... me fetch water and then oh. Oh, okay. s- sweep the perimeter. I didn't hear an answer if you wanted oh. some tea. Sure, I'd, uh, yeah, sure, tea, yeah, sounds oh, good. Right. Sorry. excellent. And I'll pour him a cup and bring it over. Right. What's in this? Uh, it's my own herbal blend. Nothing funky. It's, I mean, I could tell you it's a nice combination of chamomile, 
uh, which is really good at calming. Guy got, do you have allergens? There's echinacea inside of it. There's some colt's foot. He just, he just knocks it back. He's like, I'm fine. <laughs> it's not really enjoying it, but it oh. is a nice blend. Don't Thank worry. You. I appreciate it. It's all... Um... Uh, oh, do you have any wounds that you are aware of? If so, I can do some healing on you. Oh, okay. One of the magic types. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why you're so weird. All right. <laughs> That's part of it. Seems a bit offensive, but okay. <laughs> Oh, what did sorry. he say? Did he say something mean about Odens? I will sorry. say, Decker. <laughs> Pardon me. He's got a real mean right hook, and he's not a great on his temper. I uh, do have anger issues. I am seeking treatment for currently. He kind of nods like. Okay. Hey. Um, he's like, uh, he's all like, who's got my? Anyone around here got my shoes? My chance. You didn't come with shoes. Where'd you Where'd you find me? A wall? A magical wall? In a basement in a farmhouse beside a magical wall. Wow. I'm in so much trouble. Make sure you tell him how what a big pussy he was and he was all crying about like, Ooh, don't let me go back me Seems like a really unfortunate place you were in. As someone who was in that place, uh I I understand You were there? Yes. It was horrifying on a level that I cannot properly put in words. I don't think we should talk about it probably would be best. It was quite scary. Yes, it was. And I ain't going back. I would like to not go back either. Well, at least that's one thing we have in common. Ex- excellent. Then I'm going to turn around awkwardly and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the back. <laughs> so, you know, returning to my question. Uh-huh. Dutchville. Dutchville, yeah. Dutchville. Uh, we rolled up on Dutchville and something happened and everything went black. And so it was your it was your entire team. our convoy our convoy, convoy. was traveling was traveling uh, you know west uh, it was going to take us uh, right through Dutchville and we rolled up on the city something happened and I don't know I, I don't know everything went dark and next thing you know I was I wasn't anything? in my I wasn't with my unit anymore I remember uh, I remember a city an endless city buildings as tall as the sky lots of shadow. And cries of pain in the distance. I could only assume they'd be my men, but um, I'm still more interested in the before. So you you reached Dutchville though. Yeah, the head of the convoy had had, had just had just come into the city limits. And then something happened. Why are you so worried about the town of Dutchville? Are you from there? I'm trying to formulate a complete picture. In Dutchville, down the street. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he doesn't know that. All right. So uh, he's he's like um, yeah, uh, convoy head. We started pulling in. We got to slow down, you know, to to a crawl as we go through, uh, you know, city proper's. Yeah, we we reached Dutchville. I mean, it's a big movement. And then what? Then everything went dark. I want to do an influence on him. Okay. I, I think it would be influence to try to get him to like. <clears throat> I don't know, shake something loose, you know? Okay. Use those shake sexy something. pheromones. Use them pheromones. Mm-hmm. I'm also pretty. Use that vanilla and cinnamon. Get it, boo. No, not girl. Get a guy. Get a, get a guy. Okay. And um, whenever I'm ready to do a perception check on my perimeter scan. Mm-hmm. Well, I reckon I've done something. Dang. That's a lot of successes. I have seven successes, Dave. Okay. And so what is it? You're, you're trying to influence him to do what? I want to know what happened after they reached Dutchville. I want to know exactly what went down. So what I'm trying to do is just, like, dog him until something cracks or... Okay. That's my goal. So, like, you must know something, right? Yeah. And you're kind of doing, giving the, the law and order interrogation exactly. room, right? Just tell me what's happening. Jenny, yeah, right. Shine a light in a, in a space. That always works in the detective shows. Like, can you shut no, that light off? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, like I told you, lady, uh, or, oh, mister. Okay, um, I'm an elf, but I am a male elf. Okay, right. <laughs> I know we're much, 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 much more attractive than human males. <laughs> But you just need to get over that. Well, fair enough. You are sitting on my bed, apparently. I will. I don't know. Maybe this isn't mine. But like I said, our convoy hit Dutchville. Uh, we got radio communication back um, that we were 
reducing convoy speed but maintain interval and a few minutes later my my vehicle didn't even make it into the into the town everything kind of went black and dark i don't even know where my driver is where's hernandez you seen hernandez anywhere no maybe he's back where where you left him so here's the anyway. sitch we're gonna be in central cal for at least another day we won't be making it back up into civilization for a minute. So okay. if you want, you can ride with us, assuming you don't try to kill anybody. I'm not necessarily trying to kill anybody or be killed. I just just spent a, just spent a year in a really, probably really dark, deep place. Anyways, do you want to stay with us or not? Oh, sure. Okay, we'll try to find you shoes, I suppose. Okay, yeah. There's probably a pay list somewhere. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. What uh, time? What time do stores open? What size shoe are you? I'm a, I'm an eleven and a half. Well, I, I have an extra pair of size twelve boots if you would like them. Sounds Might great. Might be a little big on you, but we can stuff cool. the toes. Works. That works. Got any socks? Uh, yes, I do. Are they wool? Yes, and they're actually from some of my sheep on my family's farm. I, I, I made them myself. That is embarrassing for you to admit. Okay. I mean, I don't really find it so, but if that's the case, then here you go. All right. <laughs> I'll hand you the wool socks. Right. He puts the wool socks yeah. on. You know, he's like, oh, you know, he's all the wool socks. Sorry, you only know. wear tear raised alpaca. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know, it'll, it'll help pad the boot. And that way I don't have so much travel with my foot when I walk. The, he puts the boots on. And he's like, thank you. You're, you're welcome. He's like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over and say, hey, much like spending a long time in that dark place, uh, I too have spent time in dark places, uh, which is why I sought, you know, help for my anger issues. Is it consumed me for a while, so maybe when you get out, some therapy would be good. Is it like, how, how long Wait, were you there? Well, I didn't see you. No, I think I was there for only a short time, but it sure felt like an eternity. Much like when I get into a homicidal rage, it feels like I am there for an eternity. <laughs> but in my view, he's kind of to yes. check out here. He just kind of goes uh, me. I have not. If you are concerned, I have not gone into a homicidal rage in quite some time. It's been at least six months, I think. At least. <laughs> okay. So yeah. He's you know. like looking like if you, you know you got any obvious weapons on you. You like get like. <laughs> I have my Ruger on my hip. <laughs> Actually, you know, I probably, since we're in here, I probably would have taken it out and put it on my bunk. Okay. He's kind of like looking at Larry. He doesn't have any weapons on. He's probably not a danger to himself. <laughs> you did say thank you else. And I just start tossing right? the Yeah, I didn't say anything for the tea, yeah. Just start tossing the right. fireball back and forth. All like, right. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's like, don't quite understand you magic folks, but I understand, you know, I, I get it. You have a place and, and part to play in, in all of this. I'll, I'll, like, fish out of my pocket a business card for the, like, mental health facility I've gone to in Seattle. <laughs> If you are up that way, they are good. He like he puts it in his <laughs> breast pocket, and he's like, I, I think I'm covered, but I appreciate it. He's all, I need a radio back to my unit. You got a radio that works? Not that far. Oh. Again, you we're going to be here for yeah. a minute. What are you doing here? Great question. We haven't decided yet. You just on vacation? <laughs> it's kind of personal. So are the questions you're asking me. Okay, I'm gonna go up front again. You guys can talk about stuff if you need to. Okay. So you move like three feet away. Yep. Right. <laughs> Pull my scrap back up. That's, that's, no that's personal. <laughs> no all right. He's all. I'll just kind of make. He's all. Did you? So he says. Yeah. Did you see him? See who? You know what I'm talking about. Something in the place. Ah. Maybe fortunate for me. Didn't notice any creatures there but I did see the dark waters that you talked about yeah water you you saw you didn't see them creatures yeah they wiped out my entire unit so he did see I didn't you see them what did know. they look like he does remember you did no I think I was Sucks. though unfortunate fortunate in that respect he kind of leans back as well maybe we were in, maybe we were in two different places were you in the city or on the outside of the city we were on we, the were, on, we were on the ground fighting you were in that dark place i was yeah. only on the outskirts 
How'd you get there? Well, it's gonna sound crazy, but uh, I pushed through a wall. I believe there was some kind of portal between here and there, and I just ended up there, and I would have been stuck if it were not for uh, that sleeping dwarf right there. Uh, MF came and uh, knocked me out of a trance. We call him MF? That... Does that stand for a motherfucker? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I've never been fully explained, so I always kind of assume that. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Funny name for a dwarf. Yes, but he did help me. I was in a stupor. Okay. Perhaps whatever creatures were attacking you kept your wits about you. Who's that in the front? <laughs> you got a chuckles. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, I'll point the the dwarf or... Yeah, he's talking about Delty. Ah. Uh, like, what's that? Well... <laughs> what's going on with that guy? <laughs> considering you were... You are were actually you are actually in the military. Please don't take too much offense to him. Uh, he has some deep seated psychoses that has led him to believe he is <laughs> was and still is in the Vietnam War from back in the nineteen hundreds. Yeah, do you think that do you think that qualifies him best to be the driver of your vehicle? Well, I will say that he has not killed us yet. I guess that's and a plus. He is a, a, a reliable, if not, uh, what's the word, eccentric wow. person. Okay. Or, Fair enough. We we're a band of uh, we are a band of misfits, but we work together well, and we get the job done. My well, name's Danny Decker. Well, Danny, pleasure to meet you. I'll reach my hand out. Right. You know, he gives you a it. firm handshake, yeah. uh, and uh, I appreciate you uh, watching over me. You know, I didn't think I was going to make it out of there alive. I somehow got out and uh, ran. Oh, Just kept kept running out. until I hit some beach. And uh, dove into the water trying to get away, and then oh. everything went dark. Mm. Okay. Well, the way MF told it, he meant. I'm assuming you told me about it, by the way. I don't remember if you actually told me it. Cause yeah, we I remember were, telling you. Okay. We spent like six hours in a hotel. I would have asked you. Would you, would you, actually, would you have told me if I asked you? No, if you would ask, of course. I would have asked you. Okay. Of course I would have. I wouldn't so, have thought to tell you. Right. I would say. We didn't really talk about it, but I would have been asking questions about it. So yeah. I will say. Uh, apparently, I uh, was knocked out when I tried to astrally uh, view uh, the world there, but we too came through the water and back into the world in quite a different place. It's strange. But I guess at least we know a way out if we get stuck there again. You're not going back, are you? If I can do everything in my power, I will not. You'd have to be crazy to go back. Crazy or desperate. Is I got any more food around here? Oh yes, uh, I we do have uh, plenty of road snacks, uh, or if you'd like, I can magically nu uh, nutrient you. Really? Yeah. That how does that, very how, how does that work? <laughs> well, <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say, I learned how to do it, and I know that it works. Right, I've done it on myself when times are lean. Oh. Okay. Uh, you can't do it for too long or you get... Yep, still very intimate. Or you actually lose the ability to eat solid foods. Uh, but you have to sustain yourself off of that for about two weeks. But for right oh. now, if I do it to you once, you would have a full belly. And, well, well, I don't really know the biologics behind it. I'm yeah, a simple you, you farmer. You got any more granola bars? Yes, I'll get you some regular food. I just wanted to offer you... Do you know how hard it is to do a deadpan voice when everyone's laughing around you? <laughs> Kudos to you for acting so Nice, so well. nice. That was so funny. So I'll go and get him some road snacks. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. That was good. That was good. Yeah, granola bar's fine. <laughs> oh, yep. Okay, I'll get him snacks. Okay. Can move on for me. Appreciate it, right? <laughs> He's like, you know, you know I'm gonna, I'm just gonna step out the truck here, you know, and relieve myself real fast. He's gonna yeah. run. <laughs> That's fine. You know, stretch the legs here. You know, I'm like, oh. He's like, I'm gonna be in so much trouble with my unit. I think that, considering the circumstances, they will give you some leeway. I hope. Oh, hopefully. You do not know the military, then. Yeah. The, so you know, the UCAS army, you know, it's. it's you know, the, what's left of the, you know, 
political body of the United and Canadian States, you know, uh, and their standing army. Uh, they answer, you know, they, they try and address threats like this uh, blight that spread through California. It falls under their jurisdiction. And uh, they've set up uh, security checkpoints. But Aries has also stepped in to help uh, help carry that burden. You guys came across the Aries checkpoint when with the the magic guy who was like, "You got any magic goods?" You know, and Joe was like, "Nah, we ain't got none of that." <laughs> What's magic? <laughs> yeah, you know, you can see the trailer from space. You know, so, so yeah, so so Decker gets out and then just kind of stretching his legs. He's kind of looking around. He's like, "What the?" He starts asking, "What the hell happened to everything?" Uh, up there, so Cece's outside smoking and on watch. All right. And so uh, I, I'm guessing that she sees Decker come out. Yeah, yeah. You see him hop out. He's got boots on now. And so is he? Are you hearing all this on the radio? I, was this? I mean, was this on the radio? I didn't think this was on the radio. We have an open comment. No, this is this no. is this is in person. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you can see. I, eventually, what you see is that somebody hops out. So someone you haven't seen before in, in military fatigues hops out. And cowboy boots. Uh, are they cowboy boots? No, no, I was thinking those were like work boots. Okay, so in, in military fatigues, hops Sorry. out of the truck now and is kind of standing, kind of looking around, and looks like he's having a conversation with the blue-haired gal. So at this point, I'm kind of reasoning that I would like to maybe speak to one of them alone, but this is not the best time for that. So I'm going to kind of hang tight and see if I get an opportunity to approach either the the... The soldier or the blue-haired girl after one of the two of them leaves. Okay. All right. So Decker looks at you. He's like, what's your deal? He kind of looks down at your at your, your weapon. You, you carry your Ares uh, uh, Alpha with you, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, what's your deal? I like to blow shit up. Me too. Cool. So you got another <laughs> one of those? Yeah, I suppose. All right, here we go. Oh, not the cigarette. He's looking at you. He looks at your gun. Oh, fuck off. That's my gun. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. That's the girl. I was all, yeah, I will. You know, it's all, no, you know what? I was saying, I thought I will take a smoke. All right. <laughs> he I takes can, the I cigarette. I can spare one of those, but you right. keep your filthy paws off my guns. I think MF has a stash of some other weapons. MF. Perhaps. Oh, the, the dwarf guy. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. You, are uh, these buddies of yours? Yeah. Yeah? We. Oui. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. We. Oui? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Cool. He's like, how come you guys aren't staying in a hotel? Is it? It's a whole hotel here. Yeah, well, that hotel is a host to very nasty things. You are welcome to go in and check it out if you want. So why are you parked out front of it then? Because we are smart. Oh. Sometimes. <laughs> it's all you smart, honey. He puts his hand over on the rocket launcher too. He's all, yeah, this comes. I bet you this worked out real good. He's all, this comes in handy, doesn't it? I mean, we took out a magical force that was malevolent with it, so yeah, I think it was pretty smart. Tough hey, guy. I'm not judging. I'm here. That's right. We I'm rescued here. you. Don't you forget that. That's that's what I hear, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. for that, I'm thankful. Right? When we found you, you were a piddly little cowering <laughs> shell of a man, and you're like, oh no, don't let me, don't make me go back there. <laughs> but it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it seems like you're a little bit better now, just a little bit. Well, if you've been the places I've been and seen the things that I've seen, you'd probably feel the same. Oh, I've watched so much TV, so many videos you don't even know. I have seen an insane amount of shit. I've looked the devil in the eye. I have too. I doubt that. I have seen apocalypse now. <laughs> Not the same thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm safe here. <laughs> um, he's kind of looking at the hotel, and he's like, you been inside yet? You we, said there's something, uh, there's a host of something in there? Yes, um, we we heard a lot of chittering teeth, and my friends have killed a ghoul, and so we were waiting just to rest up a little bit to be fresh and go back in and kick some ass. All right, he goes back over to the truck, and he opens up the door, and he's like, who's the MF fella? Emma, front and center. Uh, he's. Uh, I'll, I'll pick my head out. He, he was the one sleeping. Oh. <laughs> what, what was it you needed? He's all. Blue haired gal here says he's got some weapons for me. I uh, have a name. Army. It is CC. Not that you ask. Oh. Uh, CC out here says that uh, MF can uh, give me a sidearm. So cool. I believe he may have some extras. Uh, I could certainly check. You want? You think it'd be alright if we woke him up? I'm not in a real big rush to army, to be really honest. Why? Probably oh. better trained than uh, most. 
you just spent a year in what sounds like some kind of Cthulhu-ridden hell. What's Cthulhu? I'm not real interested in handing you something that could kill us all. It's it is a, like a very ancient god, and I've seen a South Park episode, and he has like tentacles that come out of his face, and he's like he really likes cats. It's based on the works by H.P. Lovecraft. Very interesting writer. Uh, if you get a chance to read him and like those kind of stories, never. Heard of him. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an oh. old, old writer. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I, I can tell you, I'm uh, I'm highly trained in uh, in, in tactical combat, uh, guerrilla warfare, and uh, military operations. Uh, so, if you ever feel the need that uh, you want some uh, someone that's formally trained, uh, you know, please look my way. This isn't a job interview. Jedi, he's trying to take my job. I just don't feel I feel a little naked without my sidearm which I don't even know what happened to it but All maybe right. this MF guy is a good place to start asking whatever questions. you can have my little holdout weapon then fine here take this I don't even care about it because I have my big gun what do you what do you hand him I, it's a Fichetti Tiffany Meebler <laughs> oh noisy cricket huh yeah I was thinking a noisy cricket <laughs> Have yeah, a gun. Noisy He's like, oh, well, no, there we go. He's like, no, here we go. You're noisy cricket. It comes with a garter yeah. belt. Right. <laughs> oh, he has a garter holster that it goes with. He's like, really? All right. Hey, man, something's better than nothing. <laughs> you're eating so, you good. Yeah. So, uh. It has a clip of four. Choose your shots wisely. Oh, all right. Shit. Okay. So, uh, he says, uh. He's like, man, I'm tired. He's like, I'm going to rack back out if you don't mind. That bump's still available. Uh, yes, that one is mine, but considering your situation, feel free to go ahead and take it. No. Um, you need to go try and find yourself while I'm sleeping there with that whole nutrient thing, right? I have, <laughs> I have this, like, faraway stare remembering the whole Gabriel incident. I'm going to say, no, that's not my style. Don't worry. I will right, we'll get along right then. <laughs> right? So, he climbs back up. He's like, just let me know when you're ready to rack out. Right, he hops up in there and kind of goes back to sleep. He's like, "We'll talk more in the morning, huh?" He's looking at you. I'm playing Scrabble. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's kind of like, "Hello." <laughs> uh, uh, when Jelly is playing Scrabble, it's best to just uh, let him be. Yeah, yeah. He is very grumpy if you don't let him play his games. Scrabble. Okay. Yeah. Got it. It calms him. Okay. 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 He gets in the bed. All right. He's looking at the dwarf. You know. So you sleep on the top bunk. Are you, mm-hmm. You're like laying down like there's like all these rifles and stuff up there. You? He's like on top of them. You're kind of like, it just kind of looks like. It's under the pillow. Like yeah. with <laughs> the guns are on the, the pillow. Back side, so I okay. sleep here and everything's against okay. the wall. Okay. So you might not see. Are the safeties on? Like, huh. Remember, they're broken. Oh, they that's need, right. They all, they all are broken. Okay, oh, good. Right. I didn't know they were broken. So uh, he, he gets back into bed. He won't know that. So now, <laughs> when you're looking from the lobby out, you can see that the, the guy in army fatigues gets back in the truck. And now it's just the blue-haired girl. So is she, is she sort of uh, on her own, or is she visible? She's on her own. Time? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to sneak up and get the drop on her. Right. Oh so boy. give me, so give me a stealth roll, and then give me a uh, perception roll. All yeah, right, that is nine. Nine dice, very nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm supposed to be rolling fourteen, but I'm only rolling. <laughs> we have thirteen. So. We have more. Oh, there's yeah. more dice over here too. Oh, we can go right oh there dice. they are. Okay. Yeah, plenty of dice. Damn, how many did you roll for 14. Fourteen. You're a stealthy man. Five. Elf. How many did you get? Anybody spinning in the edge? Fuck it. I want to see this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay. So if I spend four edge, uh-huh. I get two more successes? Yes. Nope. Oh, well, if well you, yeah. you have fours. Did you yeah. get fours in there? Uh, well, you've got fours. You've got how many fours? You got two fours. Uh-huh. Yep. So yes, if you spend four points, each two points will add one to those fours, making each of those fours a five. Oh. We we were wrong about how we were doing. That. Okay, 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 okay. So I'll give you five, and how many did you get? Five. So Ty goes to the attacker. Ty goes to the attacker, which would be Wait, it'd him. be him. him. Huh? No, no, what? he's the defender. Was that because no. I was perceiving? Was I? No, he's stealthy. He's stealthy. Oh, he's sneaking. Yeah. Up. Never mind. Never he's mind. Sneaking up on you. Yeah. Never mind. I, I misunderstood. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. it's not worth it anyway. So, yeah. so you you feel confident that, that okay. she is I'm not just, aware of you as yeah. you so. start to close the distance. Pull out my... Uh, Jelly, go ahead and give me a, uh, a perception roll as well. Just okay. in the off chance that you look up from your Scrabble game. And see, like, <laughs> and see somebody sneaking up on CC. Well, he's got to be closer than that. Hit the floodlights. <laughs> um, I got two successes. Right. You don't see it. All right. So. All right. So I'll pull out my Predator. 
Make sure. Uh-oh. Look okay. This is you're, how CC You're got. lucky CC didn't see you, man. No, I know. <laughs> she, person asked questions trust later. Me. That's why I waited until after I won to pull out the predator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll, I'll kind of uh, sneak up behind her. Okay. Press the barrel of the silencer against <gasps> her neck. You feel a barrel of a weapon up against the back of your neck. And I will say... Jimmy, this is not a very cool joke, all right? <laughs> you hear that over the calm. We no way. calm. <laughs> oh, yeah. you guys have two-way radio. We do, but I is thought it we just on? established that we didn't have it set up all the time. Oh, it's totally up to you guys. Yeah. Right now, yeah, we don't I think have it no. on. Not okay. if I'm sleeping. Not on. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, freeze. One word, and you're down. All right. <laughs> Compliant. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Surprised that they okay. Number one. You guys come crashing in here like a troll through a cyber deck shop. Number two. Your security is woefully inadequate. <laughs> and number three, it seems you've made just enough noise to wake up my roommates, which happens to be a bad idea. So I need to know right now, who are you and what are you doing in this part of town? You can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and one word over your comm link, and I'll know, trust me. I'm, I'm on your channel too, and... uh. If you manage to mention anything to them, trust me, you'll be dead and I'll be gone long before they ever get here. You're strictly dealing with a professional here. Uh, you know, I'm not really the one to ask about these things. My boss, Jelly, he usually handles this sort of talking business. Uh, we're just we're just looking for things to sell. That's it. So you got a rocket mounted, a rocket launcher mounted truck to find some things to sell. Oh, that's just for fun. <laughs> what are your negative traits? Uncouth, gremlins, amid- er, yeah. Don't forget your uncouth. You might be like motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <right. laughs> I'm gonna rip your skin off with my bare hands. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you may not have noticed, but you've been uh, shooting up this hotel and. Um, that might make you guys the buffet for whatever down there in I the cellar. I didn't shoot anything. I wanted to shoot things. I did not shoot. Have I, ha, I have heard the gun. Yeah. You, you, mentioned you heard the gunshots gun. earlier. That was yeah. not me, though. Yeah. yeah. It was not know. me. You assume, you assume it could be her because she's got guns. Yeah. 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 Boy, does she. Yeah. You're too, too quick to judge a book by its cover. I mean, LT, he threw like a, a smoke grenade, and I'm pretty sure that they fought off something, but I haven't shot anything, so I am... Not to blame here. So, do do I have an idea of what's in here based on the noises? I have no. I have a parazoology. You uh, do. Okay. Uh, so, oh, thank God. Give, yes. So give me a, give <laughs> yeah. me a, a, a logic roll. Okay. Parazoology. Very nice. Five. Damn. Three. Oh, three. Okay. Um, you're you're convinced that there's a, a hive of ghouls that have been uh, taken up residence in the hotel, but you've managed to keep your distance. And you don't think that they know you're here. Yeah. So, so I, I'm kind of cohabitating. Face to face but these guys, they're way too loud. And you know that, that so. they come out at night mostly. How, mostly. how, how long is that from, from now? This is afternoon? It or? is night. No, it is nighttime. It is night. because oh. you, yeah, it is nighttime and you heard the hissing. But you, oh. you've known how to keep your distance. And stay so we're away. like, you know, any moment away from like being totally overrun. And I, I feel that. But, but oh, the rest yeah, of these you, guys. The, the wrong thing happens, right? And, and yeah. you can pull the whole, the whole herd out. And, right. You know, yeah, they'd be so scrambling. Yeah. So if, they, if if one of them shot, I, that we'd probably be in trouble. But yeah, gunfire maybe, would be a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. Are my like hands up? Am I like? I, I <clears> yeah. <throat> I didn't say get your hands up. Okay. But, you okay. Know. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep smoking then. I say that. <laughs> yeah. This is very stressful. <laughs> you got about. Okay. You got about about the time that I finish this cigarette to uh, rethink your. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll pull the gun back. Kind of Ron Perlman. Kind of. Uh, you know. You know, lower the tension a little bit. Let let the gun fall to the side. Still yeah, keeping an eye on her. Thank you. All right. Fine. So at this point, uh, you just talk like Jelly, you look Jesus. up and you look out, and you see um, you see that there's somebody with a gun to the, to the back of uh, Cece's head. I, I put it down. I put it down. I put it down. This is before so. you do that, right? Busting out the door, pulling out my telescopic staff. I'm a fucking <laughs> chicken. Yeah. I'm gonna say, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I am very sorry you have upset Jelly. She, he is a uh, very. And I think my hands is awake too. Yeah, I'm awake too. So I'm just about to pour my next cup of tea, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so something, it something, down. Yeah, you see Jelly, Jelly like immediately gets off the game and is like pulls out the stick and is like motherfucker. You know, just, <laughs> yeah, I'll walk. To, I'll grab my gun off of my bunk. Uh, and yeah, I'll go down. I'll go down the stairs. And With then... all the commotion, uh, the, the commotion may even wake you up, MF. You know, like there's a lot of there's a lot of commotion inside the truck. People are moving around. You wake up and mm-hmm. you see uh, you see Hot Hands grab his gun and is popping down out of the truck. Uh, LT is snoring through the whole thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that there's and then Decker's passed out. He from he's just exhausted, so he's right. sleeping through this thing right now. Okay, so right to the radio. Just the 18. What the fuck is going on? The radio doesn't seem to be on. Right? Because you guys yeah, don't, we, right? we don't have we it on. Yeah, you don't, don't have it on. Yeah. You turn yours on, but... Okay, you, you say it. Okay. God, peace out. And I will <laughs> hop out of the bed, hop out of the bunk, and head down. Right. As you hop out and you're looking, as you move, uh, there's there's an individual... So you see you see Jelly's head like go by the front of the truck with like a stick in the air. <laughs> you know, Hot Hands is like hopped down out of the truck. And you see, as you look out the window, you see Cece over here, and there's another individual who's got like a gun put to the back of her head. He's but he's, he's, he's starting to be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know? Does the window open right where he's at? No, no, he's further All away right. from the truck, yeah. So, that's where we're Are at. we hopping into rounds? you want us to... Unless somebody's going to do something... So I'm marching over, and uh-huh. I'm going to say, Cece, why haven't you taken him down yet? <laughs> so as they come out of the, the truck, I immediately... Kind of raise my hands unthreateningly. It's very right. embarrassing, Jelly. I'm sorry. He snuck up on me. I don't. I don't know how. I'll like slowly lower my pistol to the ground. So you know, sneaky sure. motherfucker. Say, Who the fuck are you? Why are you putting a gun on her head? Ooh, you in so, trouble. So now. obviously, I'm. I'm concerned that everybody's kind of running out, yelling, and, and oh, yeah. being loud and everything. So Real I'm just, loud. I'm ignoring your questions, and I'm just shut up, all of you. Shut up. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. What does that mean? This hotel is full of ghouls, and you're sitting out here having a party on the front lawn. Don't spin this on me. You're the one who's got a gun up Look, against someone's you head. You are the ones yeah, that showed up. At, no, you started I it. I think everyone. We were sitting to calm in our down. goddamn. You're right. Okay. Deep breaths. Everyone do their breathing. Some people just say hello. You know, they just shake hands first. <laughs> I mean, we could have totally been cool, but you had to put a gun on the back of my neck. It wasn't very nice. I don't know who you guys are. I can't trust you guys. I don't trust anybody. We are. But awesome. what I do That's know what is are. that you are making my job way more difficult than it needs to be. And what is your job? Yeah, why are you? What is anybody's job to make money? Well, that's what we are doing here. Okay. Are out of the truck and around the right. back of the truck. Are you coming around behind? MF is you. so right. smart. Sneak, sneak, sneak. You're gonna break wide. All right. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and give me a stealth roll, and then go ahead and give me a perception roll. Thomas, say, I know why we are dick deep in the blight, but why are you? He's got like this like retractable like baton thing going like you know, the whole the stick. What is perception? The beat down stick. What is that skill? I know, but is it's like it a retractable uh, cricket oh, bat? It's, it's uh, like intuition. intuition. Okay. Yeah. So I have an urban uh, specialization on perception or on uh, perception. Yeah. Okay. So that's specialization give you two extra dice: uh, perception two and urban perception two. So two. I also have two. Alright, so you, you go on scene. Okay. <laughs> and I will stay there. I'm going to watch what's going on. Oh, I see he does. Yeah, I'm coming to the edge of the truck. Okay. I'm going right. to watch what's going on. He, he he does not have his gun. In fact, for some bizarre reason, his gun's on the ground, so I assume yeah, it's already set it down. Right. But I just want to see if I notice. Now CC's kind of grilling him. I want to see if I notice MF. Oh, I see you coming, baby. <laughs> now you see MF at the corner of the truck. I give nothing away. So I'm starting to think, like, you know, this 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 uh, info gathering mission has turned against me pretty quickly. So I'm looking for ways, you know, angles. What your exit strategy is? Yeah. I'm going to swing These my These guys thing. are, you know, maybe not negotiable, so I'm just yeah. kind of getting a backup plan ready. What know? are you doing here? Like I said, what anybody does, I'm, I'm scavenging. I'm trying to make a buck. Do you have any identifying, you know, insignias, I, patches on your clothing, no. anything that might affiliate you with anything? Not really. I just I kind of have uh, function form over function, or you know, s- sort of like a Fun- tight fitting clothing, sort of with a bunch of buckles Still and here. straps. What nationality are you? Um, right, you're I mean, human. I look local. Elf. Yeah. I, elf. Yeah. Oh, you're I'm elf, elf okay, but you're I look. Elf. Yeah. Okay. I you know, I'm pretty um, pretty local. I mean, I know this place pretty well. Are you from California? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so so when the evacuation started, you, you decided not to go. Yeah, I went the other way. Went the other way. Yeah, everybody went that way. I went, and you went that, that way. Okay, cool. Because I see profit. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I hear that you're scavenging. I automatically retract my staff, tuck it away, and I say, "Oh, do you have a buyer lined up?" Actually, I didn't do my contacts, but <laughs> I'm assuming I do because <laughs> you know somebody. You, you have my, somebody. That you, I know a guy who knows. Yeah, you a have guy. somebody you use to fence your. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I uh, I do have someone nearby that that uh, that we could use to well that I use yes. Why would I be telling her this anyway? <laughs> because she has those crazy pheromones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're realizing why am I why telling, am I telling you this? this? <laughs> we'll trade the supplier, take down the deal. Yeah. Well, so, you know, n- not for nothing, but we are currently in between jobs. Is this kind of like a per head thing you got going on, or are you on a specific gate mission? Well, you know, I uh, I collect what I can and then try to do my best to get the best price for it. I am excellent at assisting with getting good prices. <laughs> For the record. Nothing. And you know, as you can tell, we're armed to the teeth. You wanna throw in? So I'll look and, and assess. Is this uh is there any is there any roles involved in this decision or can I I'll do <laughs> I'll there do any, a little pheromones going on role. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, you guys are negotiating. I mean yeah. my character is very untrusting. You know, normally I work alone, cliche line. So you're so gonna like, make an influence role and you're gonna make a composure. So test. it would be easier if you could talk me into it. Right. <laughs> what she's trying to do. So she's happens. gonna make an influence role, you're gonna make a composure test. Which we, which is? Uh, composure is we all first said no, and no. then Jelly talked to us for a little bit longer, and then we're all here. We're like, okay. We've all fallen in now. <laughs> we're just the next one. And then Composure is willpower and charisma. See. Yes, cool. yes. I will spend my edges to get two more oh, successes. Dave, uh, Dave, is this when we all start thinking, wait, why are wait, no, we no, no, all no, no. here? I don't think you need to spend any more. I think you're cool. Yeah, you can I, see you can see my results, right, before spending yes. anything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. You're good. You're cool. You're cool. Eight. Wow. Yeah. You make a really good case. <laughs> <laughs> he is very convincing. Mm? That's, that's our <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> Where Where are you headed from here? He smells really good. I mean, for, for, for a guy, you're like, oh, that's kind of pleasant. <laughs> I smell like your favorite teacher from elementary school. Oh. <laughs> Taylor Fairmont, your, your favorite, uh, you know, Chocolate oral hygienist Justin, with the big boobs that would lead in your face. That exactly. would be confusing. <laughs> There's no shame in this game. Yes. Um, you know, our, our end goal, we want to get back up to our, our home stretch, which is Seattle. Um, where do you do business? Well, I used to work down here, but that's become a lot more difficult recently. Oh my gosh, so I hear that, buddy. <laughs> wouldn't mind uh, trying out a different theater of operations, if you got my drift. Yeah, well, heck, we got a we got an open bunk. We got a trailer to haul stuff. Well, we have eyes on a trailer to haul stuff with. So if you got you know kind of a, a leg up in a or a direction to aim us, I would be down to throw in. And Jenny, he is sneaky as fuck. You know, I am pretty good. Oh yeah, that was some amazing <laughs> sneaking up there, buddy. Good. It is it is amazing that you got past. Oh yeah, CC, she's a game. The last person that tried to sneak up on CC failed, and well. You don't want to know where that head went. <laughs> Say they swallowed a few teeth huh. on the way to where it did go. So I yeah, am I'm confused. I do not understand. Where is extra bunk he sleeping? Are you saying that yep. from your head? <laughs> <laughs> You're probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> where did he come from? That's MF. So I'll, kinda, come, I'll come up to the group and say, like, again, where is extra bunk? There is four. Yeah, but there there is also a couch in our little living space. I'm I can sleep in some. shifts, MF. It is true, but okay. I'm not sharing with him because he is a stinky boy. All right, we'll have him and Decker throw out. There you go. I am perfectly fine with rotation on my bunk. I am hospitable. I bet you are. Well, I think before we start discussing the logistics of our uh, road trip, we need to deal with the situation at hand, which is to say <laughs> that no. that. <laughs> Do you think you got a buyer? You for all hear blood? that. Fuck. Uh, as you look over, if you pan over in mid conversation to the front of the hotel, you see <laughs> a pack of ghouls come barreling out, running on all fours with their oh clawed boy. hands across the ground, trying to like crawl over the top of each other to get out the door and get at you. There are a total of six. Okay, six. Oh, no. And that's where we'll stop. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
I knew now it. We, I knew when now, I heard the growl. Now we yeah. now we have a, a week to decide how we're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, decapitation, I call it. Is that good for everybody for tonight? Yeah, that's Thank good. You. Just, yeah. Okay. Thank you for listening to another NCRP Productions podcast. To stay on top of everything we're doing, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, all at NCRP Productions. You can show your support and help us continue to produce content by joining our Patreon. We offer additional podcasts like our B-Sides and have GM materials, maps, and other fun things you can discover over time. You can find our podcasts on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, and many other fine podcast sites. Just look for us at NCRP Productions. We value your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to leave us feedback or comments. And if you would like to contact us directly, you can email us at ncrpproductions at gmail.com. <laughs>